Good morning, your majesties. Happy Friday. I have another scary video for you guys. I thought this video was so appropriate for Friday. I mean, I think all scary videos are appropriate for the whole week, right? Anyway, this one is called Clown Costume. The clown costume is a scary story about a teacher who has problems with the students in his class and keeps seeing a strange man in a clown suit. Oh boy. There was a teacher who hated his students. He hated the way they dressed, their odd hairstyles, and their bad language. The way they slouched in their seats and the way they stared vacantly at him while he explained some math problems really got on his nerves. They, they disgusted him so much that he couldn't bear to be around them. At school, he had a reputation for being strict, mean, and unfair. If any of his students did even the slightest thing wrong, he would hand out harsh punishments, sending them to detention or giving them extra work to do. The teenage girls and boys in his class grew to despise him, and he delighted in making their lives a misery one night he was one night as he was relaxing at home listening to to classical music on his record player the teacher happened to look out the window and something caught his eye in the window of the building across the road a figure was dancing around around it was a clown and it seemed to be staring at him Unnerved, he quickly closed his curtains and tried to forget about it. The next day at school, his students were irritating him even more than ever. When his back was turned, they would make funny noises to embarrass him. One time when he sat down at his desk, somebody made a noise. It drove him crazy that he couldn't figure out which of the teenagers was doing it. That night, he was at home reading a book when he glanced out the window. He saw the clown again. It was dancing around this it was dancing around in the same window waving his hands like a crazy person. When it caught his attention, it reached down and picked something up. It was an axe. As the teacher watched in astonishment, the clown began waving the axe around like a mental patient. Oh my gosh. It was leering him with the gross grin on his face. The teacher jumped out of his chair and quickly drew the curtains. He thought about calling the police, but what would he tell them? The clown hadn't done anything illegal, not yet anyway. The police probably wouldn't even believe him. They would just think he was crazy and decided to put it out of his mind. The next day in school, the students were all staring at him silently. He wondered what they were up to. When he sat down at his desk, he found out. They had placed a pin in his chair. He jumped up screaming in pain and, cl and clutching his buttocks. The teenagers burst into laughter. That's it, he shouted. The teacher shouted. Detention for anyone, for everyone. You won't be laughing this evening when you're going home two hours late. That night, the teacher was at home watching a documentary on TV. He happened to look out his window and saw some teenagers gathered across the road. He recognized them as students in his class, and they were spray painting graffiti on the wall opposite on on the wall opposite him. He had no doubt that the graffiti was about him. He it made him seethe with rage. He reached for the phone to call the police. Just then, just then he spotted a figure hiding around the corner. It was the clown. He was holding 
an axe in his hands and clucking and chuckling to himself. It, he was just a few feet away from the unsus from the unsuspecting teens. All of a sudden, the teacher was overcome with horror. He had no idea what the clown intended to do, but he suspected it was something terrible. He had warned the students. He rushed out of his apartment and he had rushed out of his apartment, bounded, bounded down the stairs and ran out into the street. Watch out, watch out, he cried desperately, but he was too late. He could only watch helplessly as the clown attacked his students. He heard their terrified screams as the clown hacked them with his axe. The teenagers tried to run, but there was no escape. Um, they were concerned, and the clown swung his axe, hacking and chopping and slicing, showing no mercy. Um, it was an absolute um, carnage. It was an absolute carnage. There was blood everywhere, and the sidewalk was littered with with severe limbs and chunks of flesh. The teenager convinced his eyes. The teenager covered his, the teacher covered his, covered his eyes. All of a sudden, he heard the sound of sirens and several police cars, police cars screeched to a halt, to a halt in front of him. In darkness, their headlights, um, humiliated him he looked down at himself and realized he was wearing a clown costume on his feet there was a big pair of clown shoes put it down put it down he heard the police the police shouting then he noticed the bloody axe he was holding in his hands oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that is so creepy. That's so scary. If that was me, I don't know what I would do. Um, I would just, I wouldn't be hateful to my students. I would be nice to my students. I mean, if you don't want to be, I mean, if it's so hard being a teacher, then don't be a teacher. Um, anywho, uh, that's going to be it for today's video. So, if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.